Hey, what's up everybody? I just wanted to do a quick uh, product review or at least share my experience with a uh, certain product. And that product uh, here being the Car Rep 2K Clear Coat. Um, <clears throat> I found this, obviously I found this on YouTube and I decided to give this a try rather than sticking with the Spray Max 2K Clear Coat. And I gotta tell you, I'm not impressed with it, unfortunately. Um, sprays real nice, goes on real nice, um, but after falling all directions exactly on this can, uh, it shows right here that it's supposed to be uh, scratch resistant within 12 hours. And you're supposed to be able to buff it and sand it within 12 hours. Buffing and sanding you can probably do within 12 hours because, uh, unfortunately, in my experience, this was not scratch resistant within 12 hours. Uh, it has been almost 48 hours since I clear coated this guitar. And as you can see, it is not scratch resistant. I can take my fingernails and scratch right through it. Um, I'm not sure what happened. I followed all directions exactly. Um, heat and humidity had nothing to do with it. It's, I'm in St. Louis, Missouri, and it's been nice here right now. It's been the humidity's been low, the heat's been low. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. I'm not sure what happened, to be honest with you. Um, I was redoing this guitar to sell it, but I I can't sell this guitar like this. Uh, a friend of mine wanted this guitar, and uh, requested this paint job on it. And uh, it's not the greatest paint job in the world. He didn't really care. I don't care either, but I'm not going to sell something that's going to be all scratched up just by touching the thing, get pick scratches and whatnot, whatever on it. But it says here to shake the can for three minutes and uh, spray six to eight inches or whatever from your surface. It's supposed to be scratch resistant and polishable or whatever within 12 hours. Uh, it says eight hours, eight days to full cure. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is eight days to full cure on it, which is, it hasn't been eight days, but like I said, it's supposed to be scratch resistant within 12 hours and mine clearly is not scratch resistant within 12 hours. Um, so <clears throat> like I said, I don't know, I don't know what went wrong, but uh, I don't think it was user error because I, I waited 15 minutes before between coats like it recommends. I only put three coats on it like it recommends. Definitely shook the can for three minutes before I even used it. So I don't know. At this point, I think I'm probably going to stick with the Spray Max. I've, I use this because it has unlimited pot life and I've got other stuff to clear coat. But if this is going to be the end result, um, this is just as much as a can of Spray Max 2K. So I might as well stick with the Spray Max. I mean, this doesn't have the, it doesn't have the internal <clears throat> chamber to uh, mix the hardener and the paint with. This stuff hardens externally so i don't know but i've spent a sizable amount of money on this clear coat and a couple of cans of uh 2k epoxy primer which i hope i don't have any problems with the primer but uh that'll be uh left for another video anyway um leave your comments down below if you want uh if you've got any experience or any problems with this product or have you used it and whatnot please let me know um at this point though i probably can't recommend this product just because of this um, I can't do anything. I can't do anything with this except strip it down and start over. Um, I could probably put a couple of coats of uh, spray max over the top of this, but I'm not so sure about that idea either. So, anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate it, and fe feel free to comment.